in this lesson, we'll be starting a series on differential equations. So, the only equation that we're going to be focusing on for this course is going to be first order. So this will be first order differential equations. So there are primarily two methods that we are going to be using in this series, which is the separation of variables, as well as the method of undetermined coefficients. So the main one which we're going to be using is going to be the separation of variables. I'm gonna make one lesson on how to, on, to show you on how to use the method of determined coefficients. So let's consider an example where we're given dy over dx or dy dx is equal to 2x. So how can we solve these differential equations? Well, we're going to be using a method of separation of variables in this lesson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group my variables. Everything that has got x will go to one side and any, everything with y will go to the other side. So how can we do that? So the first step that I need you to do is to always cross multiply. So you've got dy is equal to 2x dx. In this case, already it is, um, it is straightforward. The x are on one side and the y is on one side. So what we're going to do next is we're going to integrate both sides. So if you integrate dy, you're going to get y. And since 2 is a constant, you can put it out of the integral, out of the integral sign. And then how do you integrate um, the function, right? So this is general rule. If we're integrating x to the power of some or if you're integrating x to the power of some power, the answer will be given by you add one to that power and you divide by this, okay? So here we've got one as our power. This means that the answer is going to be, I'm going to add one to one, and then I divide by one plus one. This is the same as two x squared over two, and two will cancel the two, and then our answer will be given by x squared. Therefore, this means that the solution to this differential equation is y equals x squared. So now, how do you know that this is actually the solution? Well, you can differentiate this um, solution and see if you get back to the initial state. So let's do that. So I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. If I do that, on the left-hand side, I'm going to, on the left, I'm going to have dy dx. And how do you differentiate this? You use the power rule. You move the two to the front and you subtract one from it. Is that the reverse of integration? So the answer is going to be two x to the power of two minus one, which equals two x. And we see that this is indeed what we had at first. So this is how you can use the fraction of variables to solve um differential equations. So let's have the second example. Now let's say we're given dy over dx is equal to one over three x. Well, how can we do this one? Well, if I multiply both sides by dx, well, you can think of it that way, but this is not a fraction, it's an, um, it's d dx is an operator, but you can think of it symbolically as being as dx canceling dx, but it does not make sense for technically to say dx is canceling dx. And then dy is equal to one over three multiplied by one over x dx. So we can integrate both sides. Since one over three is a constant, I'm gonna pull it out. If you integrate dy, I'm gonna get y, and you keep the three. If I integrate one over x, I get lin x, right? And then plus some constant c. And this will be your answer. If you want, you can move this and to the power here, applying the rules of lin. Remember that the lin of x to the power of some power, I can move the power to this side, it's equal to n multiplied by lin x. So I can move this one over three to the power of, to the power, as the power of x. Therefore, y equals lin 
of a x to the power of a third then plus c so this is how we can solve using separation of variables so let's have the other example so now let's say um i give you this one okay so let's make up some some space So let's say I'm given dy over dx is equal to 2y over 3x. Well, how can you do this one? Well, I can cross multiply. I'm going to have 3x dy is equal to 2y dx. Then everything that you see i've got 2y and i've got 3x right so i'm going to divide by the variable y and x on both sides so i divide both sides by xy and i divide both sides by xy remember what you do on the right and you do on the bottom uh, on the right and the left the result does not change so now what you can see here is that the x will cancel the x and the y will cancel the y so what i have now is 3 dy over y equal to 2 dx okay actually it's 2 dx over x well i can integrate both sides right so if you want you can divide both sides by 3 and this will cancel this one such that dy over y equal to 2 over 3 dx over x i can integrate both sides if i integrate 1 over y i get ln of y and this 2 over 3 is a constant. If I integrate dx over x, I get ln of x plus some constant. Since this is a constant, I can just even put ln to it because ln of a constant is still a constant. So now I can move this here for simplicity. Ln y equal to ln x to the power of 2 over 3 plus ln a. Remember that ln of a multiplied by b equal to ln of a plus ln of b so i can use the same rule here and say if this is my a and this is my b therefore ln of x to the power of 2 over 3 multiplied by plus ln of a the same as ln of a multiplied by x to the power of 2 over 3 and this is the same as ln y well if i've got ln of a being equal to ln of c i can exponentiate both sides right and the ln will cancel and i'll with a equal to c you can do the same thing here you can you can exponentiate both sides and the ln will cancel what we are left with is that y is equal to a multiplied by x to the power of 2 over 3 and this over here will be the solution to the given differential equation over here so this is how we can use separation of variables to solve um, differential equations thank you for watching